Welcome to the studios here at MTD. My guest at this time is Arthur Turner of Rainford Precision. And we're going to be talking about the Union Tool Range, Arthur. Yes, that's right. Uh, both drills and end mills. Okay, can we talk about the end mill first? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of our new products is our CXRS, which like a lot of companies is a five fluter, uh, but with variable helix, uh, variable uh, pitch, quite an aggressive helix. And the interesting thing is we're starting at three millimetre diameter where a number of companies are actually starting much bigger for the larger volume uh, components. For us, three millimetre is quite a good starting point because we're into the smaller mm. product ranges. And what are the advantages of having the unequal helix? Um, it distributes the uh, cutting forces, it eliminates the chatter. And one, one of the things that you need to think about with the unequal helix and the number of teeth is what you've actually got in contact with the workpiece at that moment in time. And there are calculations you can do where you need to try and get it to be a full number and not a half number. So let's say uh, a percentage of three and not a percentage of 2.5. And that will eliminate chatter and uh, any vibration going through into the machine spindle. Mm. And what material groups can you use the emerald for? Uh, your stainless steels, your titaniums, your aerospace materials, and then into your tool making materials up to about 50 Rockwell hardness. Mm -hmm. And I can see that's got a big radius on that tool. Is that a standard tool? Uh, that's a standard tool, uh, but the radiuses on the range start at uh, 0.2 uh, and go up to two millimeters. So again, you've got uh, a selection of radii to solve the individual customer's problem. So if we take a, a closer look at the ML Arthur, what are the features on that tool that make it unique to yourselves? Uh, we've actually got quite a wide flute. Again, it's slightly different to uh, our competitors. Um, the way the Japanese have designed the geometry on the tool uh, is quite interesting. Um, and really, you've got to look at tools relative to each other, but more importantly, what it will do for you actually on the workpiece. And that is the proof of the pudding, what you achieve mm. on the workpiece. So it's not just a roughing tool, you can finish with this as well? Uh, you can finish <laughs> with it. Um, you can use very high and quite aggressive feed rates. Um, we have a video that we've produced uh, where we're using a relatively small diameter, but six mil uh, tool where we're taking a 12 mil depth of cut and machining material at a hell of a rate of knots. Okay. And what, what's the range? You said it starts at 3 mil. Where does the range end? The range goes up to 12 <coughs> mil, which okay. is for Rainford Precision is actually quite a big diameter. Huge. And yeah. Okay, and, and the drill? This is part of the Union Tool range as well? Yes. Um, it's one of our favourite tools within the range. Mm -hmm. It's a C-UMD drill. Uh, it starts at 0.1 and in stock we have every drill in a 10 micron increment up to two mil, and then from two to three mil in every 50 micron increment. And it's a get out of jail card for customers, particularly if they're micro drilling, because it has a 150 degree drill point angle. Because it's such a, a flat angle, as you're breaking out, it doesn't produce burrs like the uh, normal drill points are 118, 120 sure. degree uh, point. It's not pushing the material forward mm. in the same way. That's obviously, that's one of the larger drills. Well, I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the camera, but it's one of the larger drills. Yeah. Who's, who's buying these? Obviously the watch industry, but who else? Uh, well, we do have a UK watch industry, but uh, medical, uh, tool makers, uh, general subcontractors, we find more and more companies are producing products <coughs> where the products are getting smaller and the features are getting smaller. So holes under one millimetre diameter are very, very popular. Is that a typical application for this drill? Uh, it's a good application. It's a stainless steel component and in it there are 400 holes of 0.26 millimetre diameter. I know, I can, I can barely see them in my eye from here. So we actually recorded this previously for the benefit of the viewers at home because you, you can't actually see it. But no. What diameter are those again? 0.26 uh, millimetres. And the material thickness is about one, one, one and a quarter millimetres. Uh, 316 stainless steel. Um, one drill does the 400 holes. 
and from a safety point of view the customer changes the drill and then uses the drill on other materials but he has to measure every hole and give his customer a certificate of conformity and prove that every hole is within size and from that data we know on a regular basis he achieves a hole size of less than four micron deviation from the smallest to the largest hole on that place. Wow, wow. And I know they've got a new website, Union Tool. It, an interesting development um, for the technology uh, side of our company in that, um, yes, we've always had feeds and speeds in our manuals, but this is a new feature where the websites will give you feeds and speeds for all materials with uh, tools being held very rigidly, so they've, therefore they're fairly short, medium length, and then very long length, where they are not the most rigid. And uh, it, you can see how the cutting parameters change for each particular application mm -hmm. and each material. It in also includes the tool holders, type of machine, and also the coolant being used. And that will give our customers a hell of a knowledge yeah. to be able to feed into. A lot of added value. Are Rainford Precision the exclusive agent for these? In the UK, yes we are. Um, we've mm. been with them for 14 years now and uh, it's a very good relationship. Great. And what this tells me is you're not really a sales organisation. You've got to sell product to pay your bills, but you're there to help, aren't you? Yeah. In invariably, you find customers don't ring up and ask for a three millimetre end mill. Customers ring up and say, I've got a problem. The solution might be a three millimeter end mill, but they need to know how to, well, what tool to select and how to use it to provide the solution to their mm -hmm. particular problem. Great, thanks Arthur.